<gasps> it's done. Oh my goodness. Is that a 90 second yeah. pizza? <gasps> Rose! 90 seconds. We did it! A 90 second pizza! <gasps> no way! Oh! <laughs> The mud. Look at this stuff. These girls can't get enough prospecting. <laughs> Even when we're building at home, we just gotta use our prospecting tools. This is the other magic ingredient right here is the wood chips. Whoa, that's good. It's like making biscuits. Yeah. Just like it. That's exactly what we're looking for. Move it around a little bit. Yeah, show us how it gets, like how it breaks. Oh, don't break it! <laughs> it's not broken anymore. You fixed it? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, that's the consistency we're looking for. We don't want it to spontaneously fall apart. We want it to spontaneously just sit there and not drip. Okay. So this thing, we already built this. In fact, the girls did. A four by four. And then this is just some thin ply we have. And then two bys, two by sixes on the flat. Another little sandwich of ply. And then just some two by fours on the edge. And then we got a metal, just some old tin we got as a little bit of a heat guard. Okay, I'll flop it in. What's going on, ladies? We're just <gasps> stirring the mud. Oh my. Hey, Dad, high five. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. you don't no, need to stop it. You don't need to video this part, but <laughs> I was standing here and I hadn't got my hand. I hadn't gotten my hand muddy yet, and I just dipped my one finger just in. Just tip me. It's a very tip, and then I went on the <laughs> What? <laughs> 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 well, I've Just taught you girls well. If someone extends a <laughs> finger, a dirty finger to you, you back away. <laughs> Very <laughs> bad with the I can't do it that much, Abby. Wow. This is something else. <laughs> is it fun? It's pretty cold, it's actually. really cold. Yeah, well, we did just get it from outside. <laughs> and if you can tell, look at that. Outside had a freak snowstorm last night. Okay, is this getting close? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then we can finish up our work of art here. The insulated base to our earth oven. How's it look? How does it feel? Feels very damp. But it looks great. This bit goes underneath the oven, underneath the brick. And that's what we gotta do next is put the brick on. And you should, probably should do it in a certain way. But I'm just gonna... You're just gonna put it? <laughs> we'll probably do this a couple times. But I think... I am going off the book. Do you remember the name of the book? Um, How to Build an Earthen Oven, but it just, the light is really bad. I'm having a hard time seeing. Is this going to be okay? Am I too brilliant for the camera? No, you look dark, actually. Like tall and dark and handsome? I'm not sure what you're trying to say. We're doing it exactly the way the guy said. Okay, we're going to do it. Now, the guy's name, what is it, Kiko? Yes. Kiko. So he's one of those good old-fashioned earth guys and he wrote the book 
actually on the earthen oven. And we got a copy and we're building this thing exactly the way he says. And except not totally exactly, but like as close as I'm willing to get. And we're doing a really good job. I just scarred that and I'm gonna see if I can break it off. I right. don't like we're, it. Where are you gonna do that? At my masonry workbench. Oh, oh that seems like a little bit too easy actually. Wow. wow. That's uh... I am a mason. That looks pretty darn good. Let's see? Oh, oh, there's a little lip here. Well, once it's built, we'll send Kezia inside with like a grinding wheel. <laughs> <laughs> we are packing a crack. So this kind of front door, the stones hung over a little bit. So we put a piece of wood there to support them and then we're putting a little bit of insulating mix. And how is it? As long as you don't zoom in or look real close, it's amazing. I am zooming in. It looks really good. Okay, good. So we're trying something um, that was not recommended. Oh, what was that? This did not, it didn't come unrecommended, but it did not come recommended. What was that here, the sawdust? Yeah. So you're supposed to make a mold here, they say out of sand. Yeah. And, and it's just a mold, like a form to build the mud on. Yep. But we do not have a lot of sand here. And we do have a bunch of wood chips. So I thought maybe we could make a mold out of wood chips. We'll soon find out if this works. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how soon we'll find out because maybe we'll build the whole thing and then it will just fail at the end. That would be very sad. So hopefully we find out sooner rather than later. Like what could go wrong? Well, the whole thing could cave in. Right. Yeah. But I think this is going to work. We're going to keep going and see if we can make a sawdust form. Well, what do you think? It looks pretty cool. Yeah, the girls did a great job on this door. Mm -hmm. I love this. We've had this bent piece of wood hanging around for years because we knew one day we'd make a door handle out of it. <laughs> now the problem is the girls mixed up an amazing batch of what looks like concrete. Yeah, it's got lots of sand, lots of clay. It's heavy, thick, and dense. The problem is it's too wet. So how do you fix that? We don't. Uh, time, but it's so, there's so much of it here, it would take days or weeks. So I think, yeah, it's just so goopy. We're gonna put at least a thin layer on it, just see what happens. All right, let's but do it. But if it fails, we know that it's Julia's fault. It's not my fault, it's well, Julia's fault. She put in the clay. Christina! <laughs> oh wow, look at that. That look gorgeous. This is like how they make those lint chocolate balls. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think it's Anyways, what's happening here is we are again breaking the rules because the stuff we have is just a little bit too wet and we don't have any dry material. And if we abandon this thing right now, it's just gonna fall over and collapse. So we are reinforcing the, the hard layer with the insulating layer right away. And this layer is actually quite a bit more rigid. I think it's all those little interconnected wood chips. So we're building it all at once and we'll see if it works. We're just gonna get it done. It's kind of spring. Well, I don't even know uh, exactly where we left off with this, but it's been a couple weeks for the pizza oven. 
and it's been drying undercover slowly and it's looking good and now we gotta mount it we gotta put it outside build it a home but look at this we are maybe one or two days away from blast off look at that the currents just popped yes we got a little uh a little bit of structure to build for our pizza oven. We're gonna put it out by our campfire and we'll have to build a stand for it and put a little roof. I think for now we'll just tarp it. Anyways, we might as well uh, just whip that up in a few seconds for you here. Coming to see this? Yes. It's a masterpiece. Okay, I want to see. You're gonna look at me with those eyes that say, <laughs> "You're amazing." <clears throat> I'm sure that I will. This is awesome. What do you think? I have to inspect it all. The, there's nothing really exciting around the back. Well, I'm just looking high. at the platform. Oh that yes. We made. Yeah, it's quite high. Hold on, hey, those eyes. Are you gonna start it up? Yeah, we have to start up now if we wanna eat dinner with it. Yeah, I was gonna say. So it's been a couple weeks and it's just been drying. And in fact, uh, check this out. The door, which remember this was the form. So it like had to fit because that was like what built this thing. But, and you can see the perfect kind of shape of it here. And you can see the little rim there. But the door doesn't fit anymore. It's been drying without the door <laughs> for a few weeks. And it's, you know, uh, it's like so close. But, you know, it shrank a quarter inch or something. And so that's fine because the wooden door will just grind it down. Right, and it'll yeah. it'll fit perfect. But that means it's been shrinking and drying. And now, what we gotta do is, uh, there's still a bunch of wood chips in there from, you know, oh, you can look inside. Yeah. There's a bunch of wood chips left. That's from the, the form, because that's how we built it. But they're just going to burn up when we light it. Yeah. So we're going to light it up slowly, just with a tiny fire. Yep. And then see what happens, because we have no idea how it's going to go. We hope it's going to go awesome. <laughs> it is. I mean, either way, it's going to go awesome, because we're <laughs> going to be making pizzas, 90-second pizzas tonight. Yeah. Well, what time is it? Um, I don't know, like 3.30? I think it's closer to four, but we'll check. We've just started it for the first time. It's looking good. It's not, uh, we started it right out here and then just kind of pushed it in once it was going and man, look at that. Look at the flames rolling around up there. Yeah, warm that up pretty quick. Look at them rolling up by the ceiling. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. It's coming out the door. It's good we made the door right so the smoke wow. comes out. No cracks in there right now. Just like a big sandy dirt lump, but it'll get a bunch of cracks now. But it doesn't matter, a few little cracks is normal. Mm -hmm. As long as it cooks the pizza and does not fall in pizzas. No, does pizzas? not fall to pieces. Cooking pizzas. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm nervous about this thing. The fact we came this far, there's a good chance it's gonna work, but We'll know more in a couple hours. Gross. Yeah. This is stunning out here. 
ducks. It is. How's the ducks doing? They are doing good. We dug this pond last year when we had that mini hoe. And man, they love it. They love it. What do you got? Worms. Big fatties? Yeah, well, a few of them. Happy ducks. Oh yeah, how are we gonna, how are we gonna get those in there? Well, I, you were supposed to make a peel. I appealed <laughs> to Dave for a peel. It just wasn't very appealing. But it, oh. we couldn't make a deal. Okay, let's do this. Rose, that's why you love me, right? Cause I can rhyme. <laughs> Is this okay. hot? Okay, here we go. Is this hot? Uh, it's hot. Oh. That's a weird way of doing that. But look, we but made look. this little thing anyways. Okay, look at this. Just a second, let's, let's, let's just appreciate that. Okay, what time is it? 8.09. So we've been keeping the fire going for four hours and look at the steam coming off of it. <laughs> so this is the first firing and it's still like, we got cracks in here now. That's okay. Those are fine. Those are normal, but all the steam, it's still not dry. But it doesn't matter. We are going to make the pizza in there. We are making pizza. And the beauty is next time it will just be better because the oven will be dry next time and it'll heat up better. And but, we'll know not to come over but until it's, 8 o'clock. Yeah, because so much <laughs> suffering you've experienced. Oh, yeah. I'm so hungry. Anyways, here we go. Here it is. So normally we would put the pizza right on the brick, but we are. Aren't we? This is not a normal time. Oh, oh I thought you had a stone. Uh, no. You never. Well, how? It. We don't have a peel. We're just gonna slop it on there. You can't slop. You need a peel. I thought you were gonna put it on a stone. We don't have a stone that fits in there. We could break the edges off. <laughs> I don't have one to break the edges off. This isn't gonna work. Huh. This will be okay. the pizza. Wow, this is the one that we Looks test like everything with. Upper <laughs> crust and lower crust. Stuck. Hmm. Okay, off camera, someone chisel away at the dough. This one's gonna go. Okay, let's try this one. Um, like mostly. Hang on. Oh my goodness. So apparently we've never done this before. We haven't. We haven't. No. Well, how are you going to get it in there without a peel? There's no chance. Hey, Jeff. Why didn't you make a peel? You then? were supposed to make the peel. Oh, yeah. Dave was supposed to make the peel. <laughs> like, who else would make a peel around here? Too, that's not going to work. That's, uh, stop. Oh, you can't stop. do it. Oh, my. You, you need to get out of the kitchen. <laughs> okay, we're going to try cast iron. We're going to try to make a peel. Okay, do right. you got this figured now? I think so. You got some cast iron, let's try it. Let's try it. This is not how this is supposed to work though. No. Oh, it looks good. Okay. Someone time Rose. I'm timing it. Just smile at me, okay? <laughs> That's not a smile. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You checking it? I'm just gonna check it right check now. Check it. Okay, ready? Ooh. Oh, it looks crispy on top. Kind of crispy the cheese on the is melting and bubbling, but not ready. Well, the not bottom the isn't bottom? super crunchy. Oh, you like a crunchy bottom? Well, I think we should pull it out. Yeah, let's just eat it. Okay. Okay. okay here we go. Oh, you got charcoal on there. There it is. Wow, that does look really good. Let's try one on the new peel. Here it is. Abigail whipped this thing up in no time. Ground that thing smooth. Let's see if this thing will work. We have no idea what we're doing, but we're doing it. Wow. Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, hang Just on. Just slide it in quick. Okay. Open it's on. Up. Okay, this is how you do it. You gotta watch out a little bit. That's yeah! That looks pretty good. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens. What can you say about your Adobe oven pizza? It's fabulous. Show me. I don't believe you. 
pepperoni and feta. And that crust is so soft and but crunchy. <laughs> and look at this oven. The oven, like how can it not make a good pizza when it looks like that, <laughs> right? It's pretty cool. That is awesome. But it's also not that good right now <laughs> because all the steam is still coming out of the oven. We need to get all the steam out so I can heat up properly. It's not quite hot enough. But we'll make some more pizzas. We might have some fun uh, practicing with the peel. Mm -hmm. We we'll practice peeling. You better eat. Like, eat this, otherwise I'm going to eat it. It, yeah, it looks like you're eating it right in front of me. <laughs> mm. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. We'll maybe show you guys an update one day, but I already know that the Adobe pizza oven is a success. And it's made out of dirt. <laughs> like, isn't that wild? You can make an oven out of the dirt and then just make pizza? Like, like pizza that people pay. Mm. I mean, it's like five star. <laughs>